Hey guys, let's make a super simple cheesy broccoli and potato kata. So the first thing we're going to make is the bechamel sauce. Don't be intimidated by this. I know I was the first time, but it's really, really simple to make. All you have to do is melt the butter on a low heat and then add in the flour. And then you need to whisk that or stir that until it forms um, what looks like a paste. And now in goes the milk, to which you need to stir until there are no lumps. Well, I did end up swapping the spoon for the whisk, which was the proper choice. So add in the salt and a little bit of nutmeg, not too much. And now all you have to do is patiently whisk that over a low heat for about seven minutes until it's thick enough to coat the back of a spoon. And that's your classic bechamel sauce done, but we'll take it a step further and add about a half of grated Parmigiano Reggiano. Stir that to combine until it's nicely melted into the sauce and you're done. Okay, I just realized it seems I like to say and you're done a lot. <laughs> But yeah, I guess I just really want you to get into the, um, I don't want you to feel intimidated by making um, some of these classic recipes that, yes, can be very intimidating, but trust me, if I can do it, and I was super scared, so can you. And now we move on to the potatoes. So peel and cut the potatoes into thin slices and boil them for seven minutes. If you're choosing to use um, fresh broccoli, then you can boil the broccoli for eight minutes. But if you decide to use frozen broccoli, then you can thaw it in the microwave for six minutes and then roughly chop it. But just make sure that the stems are quite thin. And this is the fun part where everybody else can take part. So start by um, adding a thin spread of the bechamel sauce, followed by the potatoes. After adding the potatoes, I like to add a bit more um, of the bechamel sauce. And after that, I add the grated Parmigiano Reggiano and the grated um, mozzarella. But you can use fresh mozzarella if you want to. Oh, that would be very cheesy. If any of you happen to try that, make sure to drop a comment down below and let me know how that turned out. Make sure to add some bechamel sauce um, on top of every layer of potato or the broccoli. Otherwise it might be too dry. So don't forget. And I am notoriously well known for overindulging in black pepper. So if you like that too, um, make sure to add some freshly ground black pepper in between the layers for that kick. That's it. Your top layer should have the bechamel sauce, some broccoli, and quite a bit of cheese on top. Drizzle with three tablespoons of olive oil. Cover and bake for 45 minutes at 200 degrees or 395 degrees Fahrenheit. Pierce the gratin with a skewer or a knife to make sure the potatoes are cooked through. Then put it back in the oven uncovered to bake for a further seven minutes for that nice golden brown and slightly charred broccoli. And that's it. I hope you enjoy your cheesy broccoli and potato gratin. Subscribe to be notified for more recipes.